Yeah. Hey, what's going on, guys? Fendimus here from Fendimus.com. Check it out sometime if you want to see what's going on in the news. Today, I'm going to be uh, playing a game on CodeAndGame.com. And it's practice for computer computer programming. And basically, if you want to learn, it's not the easiest way to learn, but it's not the hardest. It's kind of, it depends, I think, on what you're used to. But basically, you go in, so we're going to go solve this called the descent. It's an easy puzzle. But easy is relative, I believe, in my opinion. So they kind of turn these little uh, practice scenarios into games. And you get to type in your code over here in the IDE, the Integrated Development Environment. And the, the game, you get to watch here. But also the game, you get to level up your profile and stuff. You get experience. I don't know, you might even get a job in the future if you're really good at programming, so. They give you the goals here. So we're going to destroy the mountains before the starship collides on its way down. And this looks almost like a Star Trek thing going on here. So, you read through, we're given a start of each game turn. You have uh, eight mountains. So you're going to have the code over here. And see, you can change your also your programming languages. C Sharp, C++. You got these different languages. I kind of know about C++. I'm pretty comfortable with C Sharp. And then JavaScript a little bit. Python a little bit. I'm not really too sure about the rest of these, but... Why not? I mean, why not try them all? Who knows? But I'm going to start off with C Sharp because I'm pretty, I'm okay with it. I'm not the best. But, excuse me. Uh, let's see here. So you pretty much get, you know, we're going to be dealing with a loop here. Game loop. I think. Remember, I'm still new at all this stuff too. So I'm like kind of learning with all you guys. Okay. This kind of gives you some helpful information. So, this, and then you have a, a storyline going along with it. So here, over here on this side, you have um, a test case. So when you push play, you'll see the, uh, the window over here. I imagine there would be sound or something. But. So I crashed into mountain number three. And that one has a height of six. Which is pretty, that's pretty tall. So if you try again, you'll kind of see what's what's going on. should be able to see your code your what mountains are you targeting you want to target the tallest mountains first how do you do that well, over here in your code I could zoom in a little bit perhaps the while loop represents the game each iteration represents one turn which is the spaceship going across the screen one time you have these uh, inputs which are the height of the mountains which you can see over here and these numbers specifically six four three two this is the height 
and then these numbers here 0 1 2 3 4 3 7 these are the actual mountains so you'll have a mountain like this one and then you'll have the height which is like six so it's like really tall so this is kind of like data is coming in and you're trying to sort this data out so that you can pretty much manage your landing but it translates into other stuff when you're doing programming and so we're learning how to you know manage this data and get stuff out of it productive stuff kind of it translates into the real world when you have this uh, your landing sequence here so let's see you have to print an output and your input is uh, automatically updated according to your last action so let's look at our code you usually have the using these uh, kind of pull up your I want to say they pull up your libraries and like I said I'm, I'm so new to this these things are kind of uh, you, you need this stuff to be able to use some of these uh, methods or whatever they call you down here but you don't want to mess with this stuff up here you just leave that once you get more sophisticated more advanced you can kind of well you can make up your own like I could have uh, system dot or something but you're starting to get really complicated and way beyond my understanding these are like basically little libraries and the li what the library would be is like um, when you type in stuff it knows what to do I, I mean I don't know you have to look into that stuff but anyways let's get back to solving this this thing here so this is gonna be a video of me working through it it's gonna take a little while and then I'll have another video where it's really short 30 seconds a minute and it's just the solution if you guys want to skip to the good stuff that'll probably be at the end of this video but so we have our player which we know is the ship that's flying around Static void, main strings, arguments, okay. So pretty much you have here with this bracket, you can see that it goes down and it connects to this one. So everything in between this is what's being called. And you have your, uh, your while true loop. Excuse me, it starts here. And we have um, I forget what this is called but basically this will run seven times and for each loop which is like each frame or whatever depends on what you're building your variable will go up by one so you got zero one two three four five six seven and which it's actually eight numbers but whatever the computers are weird do they start off at zero most of the time that again that kind of depends so now we're getting to the good stuff we need to write some actions here and then if you want to debug debugging what that does is it allows you to figure out which part of your program is being called like what was the last thing that was called or you know is your ship colliding properly with something it's very general generally speaking but let's see here console dot error oops that should be capital capital e dot right line and then you're gonna have your message here like I don't know shindemis.com since I'm always plugging that anyways so after the first thing this should be called you should see it over here somewhere let's let's try this see 
we have our altitude and then we have the, the mountains. See how it says Vindimus.com. <laughs> this is your output over here. It's it's kind of like I don't know, it depends on what you're using. If you're using like Unity, you have uh, this would be your your information, what's it called? Your debug log or whatever. And then you have the screen. This is like the game, you know, this is your tablet or your computer, this is the game you're playing and behind the scenes you have all this code going on. So anyways, looking for a solution here. And pretty much what we have going on is, uh, this is what you, the, the, basically the mountains that you want to uh, destroy. One, two, Four, five, seven, three, six. So, okay. So, what you want to do is you want to target the tallest mountains first. And, like, to manually do that, you would look at the height and you would put in, like, we got to kill or shoot number three first this is like manual hard coding or something you don't really want to do this stuff you want to be able to write uh, like an algorithm and to be able to just detect this stuff on your own like if the height is greater than ship height or greater than or equal to then uh, shoot this one first or whatever so I'm not that advanced in coding so this is the very beginner stuff and I'm just going to hard code these numbers here over there into my code. So number four would be mountain number five, which is the next tallest. Wait, hold on. We should pause this. There we go. At the beginning of the game, because once you shoot it, it becomes zero. <laughs> we want to, <coughs> excuse me. You want to take out the tallest ones first. So it would be basically zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in that order. So, one, two three, four, five, six, and seven. So we'll try it again. This is descending the mountains and you'll see it. Attacking these mountains as they slope downward and your ship won't crash into it which is part of the game that's the whole point of this one boom there you go you are clear for landing so here congratulations you can land with your spaceship so this is the first test case it was the uh destroy the mountains before your starship collides with one of them from the highest to the lowest and you wrote a simple code here this might have already been correct i don't know how it starts off but you just arrange these from highest to lowest and you're just kind of learning about the code so i will stop the video there and then I guess I'll move on to the next test case so thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one good luck in your coding learning to code journey I am also on that same journey all right see you on the next one keep on cracking peace out